Welcome to Zayıf Akım. Today we are with Yaroslav Barton. Welcome Barton, how are you? I am very good, thank you. Could you int introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, yeah. My, my position with HID, I am the regional product marketing manager covering the Europe for physical access control for HID. And I used to uh, work for HID for nearly 20 years already. So I started working in a different sales position and I am in a product marketing role for the past six years. What are the biggest security threats for access control systems today? And how does HID address these threats? Yeah, the, the main purpose of access control systems is to prevent unauthorized access. So it means that any part of the access control systems that can be vulnerable from whatever purpose uh, or whatever reason is, of course, the security threat. And it starts on the side of the user and his credential. So how the credential is secure. So how the communication between the credential and the reader is secure and protected. So the biggest change in the past has happened that first access control systems, they use the RFID card without any encryption any protection. Now it's nearly impossible just to have access control system without a proper encryption. So the data must be encrypted on the card, the communication between the card and reader must be encrypted. The next step is how this information is being processed on the reader side. So because it's security encrypted information, so it must be deciphered on the controller. So security keys might, must be deciphered on the reader. And uh, so how the security keys are stored in the reader. So they should be stored in the secure element to be fully protected, fully encrypted. In, it will prevent the extracting the keys from the hardware. And of course, then further, we have a communication between the reader to the controller, which in the past was done typically using the vegan communication, completely unsecure. Today, the OSDP is the standard, international standard, which is used for not only bidirectional communication, but especially encrypted communication to the controller. So these are, these are the main aspects from uh, the technology side of view, technology position of view. Of course, the biggest threat that still remains in the access control systems is the people, people around that. So how the employees trained how to use the access control systems to prevent the tailgating, uh, to prevent the social engineering, phishing and other attempts. Which security standards do HID's access control products compl comply with? HID is a global company, so we sell our products the, in the whole world. So we meet many standards from the various countries regarding the security standards. Uh, in Europe, particularly, we are compliant with the standards EN 5133 and EN 6839, which are specific access control standards. However, our products are just components which are being used in access control system. So they cannot be certified as it is, as, a, as an individual component, but with our partners, we can certify the whole solution to the highest grade or highest class according to the standards. What technological innovation innovations have stood out in access control systems in recent years? I think the biggest change in the past year was moving the cards into the smartphones. So uh, I already mentioned that we see in the change moving from the cards to the smart cards, fully encrypted smart cards. But now we see that not only the security is, uh, is acquired by the users, but also the convenience. And mobile access is something that brings both very high level of security and convenience for the users. So I would say that mobile access is definitely the number one which we've seen in the past years. And it's definitely, let's say, the biggest trend we see today and in the upcoming years. Mobile access through Apple Wallet has come to Turkey. Do you have any prediction about when Google Wallet will arrive in Turkey? HID pioneered with the mobile access the five years ago. We were the first company just introducing the mobile access into the access control business. HID was also the first one just bringing the access control into the Apple Wallet. So regarding how the Apple Wallet and mobile access is being used around the world. so. It started earlier than the Google Wallet. Uh, Google Wallet currently we support in 90 countries globally. Unfortunately, Turkey is currently not supported with, uh, with Google Wallet, but we believe that it will happen soon. What are the impacts of the NIST2 directive coming into force on access control systems and overall security solutions? How is HID adapting to this directive? 
This too is a European cybersecurity directive that is focused on uh, the critical infrastructure enterprises mostly, and it suggests how to protect the data inside the companies. And of course, physical access control systems, even though it's not directly specified in this directive, but it can help many organizations uh, for the data protection because all the company servers, all the data infrastructure needs to be protected inside the premises. And access control solutions is definitely the way how to do that. And therefore, the needs to also applies to the physical access control system. So therefore, we believe that proper end-to-end -end encrypted access control control solutions can support organization to be compliant with NIST 2 standard. You have produced white card readers for architectural designs. They look very stylish. Are you working on other aesthetic and innovative designs like this? Yeah, thank you first of all that you will like our, our readers, signal readers in white. And the, re the reason you're absolutely right, so why we introduce them in white is that many architects, they ask, yeah, we need something that would fit better into the interior. And signal white readers with this design really fits to any new offices, any buildings very well. We do not want to stop here. So we also have in our portfolio your iClass SE decor reader, so which is the reader that can be built in into the wall switch in some countries. So we are planning to expanding the portfolio also to support the signal readers. So the signal decor reader is also on, on the roadmap. So far we've seen sustainable solutions like bamboo carts. What other innovative products and technologies can we expect in this area in the future? Sustainability is an important topic for HID, and not only for HID, but also for all our customers. So just for your reference, there are about half billion RFID cards used or sold for access control systems globally every year. So it represents nearly three tons of plastic. So any way how to reduce this plastic waste is also therefore very important. We launched the bamboo card as first step in uh, on this journey of uh, the sustainability for the physical credentials and uh, we also we are planning also to expand the portfolio of the sustainable cards and the closest product that we are going to introduce will be the paper card so rigid paper card that can be printed on and can be used for access control thank you for all the information would you like to add something before we finish uh, thank you thank you very much for having me here